All right, so initially I wasn't gonna cover this because of the source in which this is coming from, but then I realized two things. One, this is pretty much fucking obvious. So even if the source isn't reliable, it's something I already believed for ages. I think I spoke about this before in previous videos anyway. And two, I learned some new information that's very important. And I feel like it's important that I share this with my viewership because I made a promise to myself a while ago that I was gonna do this. And we'll get into what I'm talking about later. But basically, comicbook.com has covered a Zippo leak. And it says here, Sonic Mania 2 is said to have been scrapped internally at Sega. Sonic Mania originally launched back in 2017 and by all accounts was a massive success with Sega and the larger Sonic franchise. And basically sucking off Mania for a bit and then it says, as such, a number of fans assumed that Sega and developer Evening Star Studios, which is comprised of developers that primarily worked on the game, would end up releasing a follow-up at some point in the future. Unfortunately, according to new information that's been divulged by a well-connected it seems like Sonic Mania 2 instead might never end up coming about. In a recent blog by a video game industry insider that goes by the name Zippo, it was said that Sega had scrapped plans for a Sonic Mania sequel internally in the years since the first game's release. Zippo explained that the reason for this seems to have been due to a clash of some sort between Sega and Evening Star Studios. The blog in question didn't get into too many specifics about what happened here, but it did state that Sega of America was the division of Sega that proved to be the problem. Zippo claimed that Sega of America management was extremely unreasonable, leading to a breakup between the publisher and Evening Star. Now there's more in this article, but I just want to touch on this quickly. Because again, this is already obvious. I mean, Zippo has mentioned this before that there was no classic Sonic coming back in the sense of Mania 2 or anything like that. But even before that, there were clear signs that there was no Mania 2. There were people that were heavily involved in Mania who were posting on Twitter publicly that they were looking for new work, new things to work on. Headcanon, which was one of the main teams that worked on Mania were doing a kickstart to fund their next game which was a complete indie title nothing to do with Sonic and they couldn't even fund the game because I guess not the Sonic.exe so no one wanted to support it <laughs> And he came out with the whole video to say that, yeah, the game's not happening because we couldn't fund it. It was like 5% of it was funded or something like that. I mean, I don't know what's going on with T. Lopes. If he's still available, maybe they could get some other team to work on this Mania 2. And the game might not be as good as it would have been with the Mania team. But then T. Lopes could save it with the soundtrack. I don't know. I mean, there was a time that he was being a bit cryptic on Twitter. And we thought that he was talking about him working on a Mania 2. I even covered it back then. But I think it was for another game. I think he's doing freelance work right now. And I mean, just in general, they've all on their separate ways. I mean, the biggest formation from all of this was Evening Star. Evening Star is like a studio comprised of a lot of people that worked on Mania. If you look at the team here, you can see people that are involved in Mania. I think Hunter Bridges was involved. You can see Christian Whitehead is there. Brad Flick was definitely involved in Mania. I don't know all the names, so maybe some others were also involved. But basically, a lot of people who were involved in Mania have formed their own studio. And people that aren't in the studio were looking for work actively after Mania had come out. There was even one Mania developer like going on a rant on Twitter, basically complaining that Sega didn't pay them enough that it was like they got bare minimum salary for basically saving Sonic's reputation no royalties and like it was a while ago like I, can't, I don't even have the tweets here I could try and find them but I probably won't but it was a thing that was going on back when I was still on Sonic Twitter and this was so talked about that for anyone to have believed that there was gonna be a Mania 2 at least with that team would have been delusional at this point right if there is a Mania 2 or some kind of classic Sonic follow up it's not being done by the Mania team so we can't trust the quality of it. So regardless of whatever Zippo has said or his lack of credibility or whatever, I don't see a Mania 2 happening. And if it does happen, it's not happening with the people that made the first one so great. So sorry to break it to anyone who didn't know about all of this, but yeah, Mania 2, at least with the original team, is not going to be a thing. Of course, Sega own the IP. They can make another classic game if they want to just get some other team, if they want Dimps to do it or whatever. They, they could, essentially. So it doesn't rule that out, but it does rule out the original team that made Mania great in the first place coming back for a sequel because clearly there was not an amicable split which isn't really surprising when it comes to Sega and this kind of shit anyway so but that's not the reason why I decided to cover this because I figured this was obvious anyway but then I got to the third paragraph of the article and that's when I decided I had to cover this it says here within the past month Evening Star has gone on to reveal that it is now working
working on a wholly original 3D action platformer, which all but confirms that the studio likely isn't making Sonic Mania 2 at this point in time. And while we might never know all of the specifics about what happened between those at Sega and Evening Star, it's absolutely a bummer that the two entities seemingly won't be working together on the highly requested sequel. It's not a bummer because this is better. This is better. Okay, I have been saying for ages that we need to basically just say fuck you to Sonic Team and Sega. If they will make the kind of 3D games we want, let's support fans who want to make their own, especially original projects. That's why I go on and on about original 3D platformers that are inspired by what made Sonic great in the early 3D days, okay? That's why I keep talking about Spark the Electric Jester 2 and Spark the Electric Jester 3, which I covered both on my non-Sonic channel link in the description because I want to support these projects. So when I found this out, I said I had to make a video on this because I want more people to know about this. Apparently, this was announced a while ago and I didn't know about it, so clearly there's other people that don't know about it, so I need to talk about this as well. If you go on the Evening Star website, you can see their bio here. They're a studio that was formed in 2018 of people around the world, people that have worked on Sonic Mania. As I mentioned before, the team of people involved, people that have worked heavily on Sonic Mania, including Christian Whitehead, who has gone on record years ago to say that he wanted to work on 3D games. You look at the website and he shows the engine that he's made. Oh, I don't want to say he, like the team have made. I don't know the exact credits, but the team have worked on their own 3D engine that is basically in their own work the high definition companion to the retro engine and they've got this page here that says upcoming original game evening star is currently working on our debut title a fully original 3d action platformer powered by our star engine we are excited to be teaming up with a new publishing partner and we can't wait to share more details with you soon in the meantime we are looking for talented game creators to join our team and help bring this game to life if you're interested check out our careers page you can see an image there of some i'm guessing that's the character you're me kind of like Prince of Persia vibes. I don't know why. Like it's a silhouette, so it's kind of hard to predict what that character is doing. Is that a yo-yo that he's fucking? <laughs> Imagine that's a yo-yo attack or some shit. I don't know. But the point is, right? If we're looking for 3D games that are inspired by mechanics that we liked within Sonic, and these guys worked on Mania, they understand control physics and mechanics. This might be one of the best, if not the best. 3D platform that is based off that Sonic kind of formula and feeling that we could be getting for a long time. Now, I don't know if that's the route they're going. They could be making something more like Banjo-Kazooie or Mario or some, something else. Like, I don't know. It could be Billy Hatcher inspired. So it's not a guarantee that it's going to play like that. I don't know. But what I'm definitely going to guarantee is that I'm going to be following this project heavily. And when it comes out, I'm definitely going to be playing it on my non-Sonic channel because whatever it is, it's going to be of quality. Okay. And I made a promise to myself that if I I'm going to criticize Sega for not doing 3D Sonic right, then I should also be willing to support people that are going to make 3D platformers inspired by Sonic. So assuming this thing is of quality, whenever we get gameplay, I'm going to be wholeheartedly supporting it. If it plays like something that I want to play as a 3D Sonic fan, I'm going to be recommending it a million times and you better not get sick of me talking about it if it's good, okay? I encourage everyone to follow this and hopefully support it if it's good. I have no idea when it's going to come out, probably not anytime soon, but it would be funny if it came out around the same time as Rangers and then just outshined it in every way. <laughs> That would be so funny. Like you just let the team go and they just made their own 3D game and just out Metacritic do you, out IGN do you like <laughs> But eh, look, I'm just saying I'm supporting this, okay? Just because a 3D platformer doesn't use Sonic characters doesn't mean it's not worthy of being checked out. I honestly think games like Spark 2 and Spark 3 are getting way less attention than they deserve because they're not using Sonic characters. Because if they were, if Spark 2 and Spark 3 were just Sonic fan games, the same gameplay, same level design, but with Sonic characters, everyone would be talking about them like it was Omens and all these other big games, but, but we're not. So I'm gonna be the guy that talks about it. It's not right for Sega to have all the power when it comes to that Sonic type of gameplay. I envision a world in like 5-10 years where it gets easier and more understood for smaller development teams to make games that are inspired by Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, etc. And we can get more of them and not have to rely on whatever Sega churn out once every half decade and hope that that one game is good otherwise we'll wait another half decade. We will now get to the point where we have options. Like if you're a fan of, you know, open world gameplay, you don't just have Skyrim, you got Assassin's Creed, you got Zelda, you got GTA, well kind of, because they've been milking GTA 5 for how long now? Well, 
speak of a remaster trilogy, I get mm, it's a remaster, but if you like FPS, it's not it's not just COD. You got Battlefield, you got others. I mean, I don't play that many, but there are others. I know people that play them, and it's more than just those two, although those are the biggest two. But the point is, while there are other 3D platformers, yes, if Sonic fucks up, there's Mario, or now we've got Kirby 3D platformer. They're never close enough to where it fills the same void, and this could be the time where we might actually get that. This is why this is so exciting for me, and I hope this is exciting for you. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this situation. At this point, Sonic Mania 2 is either not happening, or it is happening, but with people who did not work on the original, which either way, it's not good news, I guess, for that. Are you upset about this? Are you happy about this? Are you happy to see that even if Star working on a brand new, fully 3D platformer? Honestly, even if they were still working for Sega, I wouldn't want Mania 2. Like, honestly, I would want a level creator. Like, the Sonic version of Mario Maker, basically. So either way, like, I'm fine with this news. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Make sure to check out the non-Sonic channel. The link will be in the description. But that's all I have to say right now. So, do me out.